Hi guys, Dr. Yerby here. In this video, I'm going to go over installing the latest version of ESXi. Now my hardware is a bit dated at this point and they're, they're starting to roll more and more uh, pieces of hardware, especially your, your processors off of their compatibility list. So they have a, a pretty long tool that you can go through to see if your hardware is compatible. Uh, but let's do this the, the stubborn way and uh, just give it a try at first. If I were doing this for a real production environment, of course, I wouldn't be so cavalier. All right, so I've logged into my VMware account. Um, now I'm going to go to products, free trials, VMware ESXi 7. See if we can get to the downloads this way. All right, so. So let's try going with ESXi 7 standard. It might tell me I don't have permission for this, or it might tell me I can only get a free trial. Yep, you're not entitled. That's fine, I'll download a trial. Fill out this information. Okay, now it says I have my 60 day free trial and I'm already logged in and my account is activated. All right, so now let's see if we can download this. So I'll download this. Again, pretty small package, should take just a second. All right, so now we have our ISO file. So now, if my BIOS hasn't uh, kicked my virtualization off, I can do Control Delete, go to Task Manager. and go to performance. I can see my virtualization looks like it is enabled, so so hopefully that will work for me. All right, so let's create a new virtual machine. And we'll do this. And let's see, they haven't updated the newest version of ESXi in here, so I'm going to select the latest version. We're going to see if this will work or not. Okay. It's not listed on my compatible products, so that's not a great sign. Uh, but then again, this thing hasn't been updated. Uh, my VMware Workstation Pro has not been updated since, uh, I believe, 7 of uh, ESXi has been has come out. All right, so I'm going to tell it this is VMX, VMware ESXi. And again, it doesn't give me the option to say seven. So again, uh, things are looking worrisome, but I'm going to continue on here. I uh, will stick with Nat for now. We'll leave this dynamic. Alrighty, here we are. Let's see what we get. So this is actually a good sign. It's running through the installer. All right, so we're at the installer. It says it installs on most systems, but only in the compatibility guide. So we'll press enter and we will read this and we'll say we accept. Now we will get to find out if our uh, information is if our hardware is compatible so we'll store we'll install on that uh, 
VM drive that we uh, created. So say enter US password. Let's see if this will save. Okay, now we want to install F11. And so far, so good. It looks like uh, it is working, even though we had all of the challenges up front of uh, VMware Workstation Pro 15.6, I believe is what I'm on, not listing compatibility with ESXi 7. Um, really, in the free version, from, from my, a bit of reading I've done, there's not a big difference from the previous version, 6.5 or 6.7, uh, to ESXi for the free version. It's really adding a good bit of uh, support for containerization. And so again, we, we see this, this playing out live in front of us of VMware striving to stay relevant, to stay uh, in the game. All right, so fantastic. We've been successful. Um, it'll operate in eval mode for 60 days. And then after that, um, we'll have to register the license. Okay, so I'm going to hit enter to reboot. It's going to shut down. And when it restarts, it should give me a very, um, very pretty blank screen of pretty much this, that, that screen that flashed up there for a second. Okay, so it looks like it is up. And now uh, to manage this host, I will just go to a browser on another machine that can get to this same uh, IP address and use the web interface. Okay, before I completely end the video, I wanted to just show you that the interface is up and working. Uh, so again, what I'm going to do is go to this IP address here. So, HTTPS 192.168.114.129, all right. And then uh, the first time you log in, you may get a certificate error where it says that, hey, this website's not secure. Do you want to proceed? Uh, the reason you're getting that is, again, this is an unsigned certificate. Uh, so the the, this, uh, the website doesn't look secure, especially since it's asking for a username and password. Uh, so I believe our username was root and our password is this. Let's see if I can just copy that, paste it. And so what's happening, uh, this browser is on my host machine but it can connect to the same network that this NATed address is on my ESXi server. And so, uh, da, 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 da. I don't want to join that experience right now. Not now. Uh, so now we can start managing that server. And so now I have a local um, version of ESXi where I can begin creating a virtual network. I can create uh, all the different virtual machines. And I can do a lot of the stuff that, that you're doing in some of the labs in modules seven and eight uh, through here. So, all right, so that ends this video, thanks.